So I have to ask you guys, because first off, John, let's start with you, because when Halloween came out, it was the scariest movie ever. I could barely watch it as a child, and I probably shouldn't have. Um, what do you think it is about Halloween that makes it so scary? Oh, geez. Well, ha Halloween was a movie that I made 40 years ago, and I, I just took everything that I thought horror movies had done wrong and put it into this movie. <laughs> and... It, no, I took everything that I thought could be done right and put it into the movie. So the, the killer is anonymous. He's blank. He could be a man, he could be supernatural, we don't know, and he's relentless. And he's everywhere in the dark and he's coming for you. That's what's uh, scary about it. Now, as you say that, my heart beats a little bit. <laughs> why is it? Why is now such a great time to add another piece to the Halloween puzzle here? Well, I think it's always a good time, always a good time for, uh, for a scary movie. And I think uh, right now there's a lot of, um, you know, nostalgia. Um, it is, 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 uh, came out of that and, and, and even Jurassic Park came out of that. And, um, and there hasn't been a Halloween movie in a long time. And there hasn't been a good Halloween movie, maybe, since the first one John did. So it was exciting to try and make another one. Let's talk about where we pick up in this movie. Where are the characters? Where do we find them? In this movie, we pick up. Uh, we pick up. It, this movie is a, is a is a is a part two to the first movie. Forty years later, so um, in this movie, uh, uh, Michael's been in jail for a long time, and uh, and Lori and her daughter and her granddaughter are are uh, are going to are going to encounter a lot of trouble when Michael gets out of jail. Right. I feel like. Um, to take on a project like this because Halloween was so legendary, it must have been intimidating yet very exciting. Can you guys talk to both of that? Well, people call the original Halloween legendary, but it's just a movie. <laughs> and taking this on was fun because we had such a talented director. And Jason is an expert at producing horror films, and I produced the music. And so it, it, what's, what's to what's to lose here it's all gonna work you'll be scared if you come to see our movie i promise you <laughs> no i saw it yesterday and i was like that's enough uh, I'm, I'm trying to i'm trying to wrap the questions around for you here <laughs> so you can universe you saw it yesterday good for you yes it was so good it was oh, a little good. bit too good so now that i see this guy i'm like all right that's enough um jason i mean i know that you have had your hand in pretty much every good horror movie that's come out recently but there must have been a little bit of excitement as well as intimidation with Halloween? Uh, oh, there was a ton of excitement. It's hard. You, I can't do a movie that not, I'm not excited about. Otherwise, it would, I, wouldn't, I wouldn't do it. But I was particularly excited about this because the opportunity to work with John and to work with Jamie Lee Curtis and to kind of pair them with David Gordon Green and Danny McBride to get that group of people working together on Halloween, for sure, one of the more exciting, one of the kind of the high points of my my career for sure was to get to do that and get to do it with the four of them. Do you guys feel like this movie really pays homage to what Halloween is? Yes. <laughs> I don't know. Sure. I think it does. I think it pays homage to <clears throat> the spirit of John's Halloween, I feel like, is absolutely in, uh, in this movie.